we're committed to going this way. Standard long Silent Hill stairway downwards. Once again, the way is closed behind us. Heading this way is a bad idea. The steam or hot gas or whatever that is, it will kill you. Coming over here, though, we have this. Mining equipment. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. The suit could protect me. And there we go. Anything else over here? I don't think there is. So with this we can safely pass through here. Again, I don't think there's anything else past here. Just a cargo elevator. Man, been a while. You like your job, soldier. I love what I do. Fixing things. It's my gift. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal! And just gonna give fair warning, the squeamish might want to look away for this next scene. Things are about to escalate quickly. so hard to raise a child, to instill your values into her. You want her to be her own person, but you hope she'll always remember what's important. Family. What's going on? Family is the most important thing, Alex. I would do anything to protect them. That's why I sacrificed my daughter. What? The founders. They had good intentions. They left the order to start a new life in Shepherd's Glen. But they feared the wrath of our God. So they made a pact to keep us safe. All that was required it's a small sacrifice. Our children. 
once every 50 years, founding families must make an offering to appease the God. One of our children, her own flesh and blood, struck down by her own hands. I did what was required. I watched the light fade from the woman's eyes as I took her life, knowing death would protect our family, God. protect Shepherd Glenn. No, Alex. One of us failed. Like the strength to fulfill his duty. Your father. Where's Joshua? <laughs> Don't you see? Because of him, our sacrifices were in vain. Patrick, our God was broken. Your father's lack of conviction cursed us all. The hope was to revive the order which our founders abandoned. The true faith. By kidnapping? By murdering? Murdering? I've given them life through rebirth. And what about Elf? You gonna kill her too? I've tried to make Elle understand. But she's like you, Alex. She still thinks there are such things as good and evil. But there aren't. There is only chaos. Show my daughter the price of her disobedience. Don't! Look! I can help you with all this. There must be another way. No, Alex. It's time I finished. What's your father? So at this point, get ready to mash as soon as they give you the prompt. But even at this point, it's not done yet. One more mashing session, and this can't end well. So I have to say, Alex gets around pretty well for a guy that just had a power drill in his knee. Also, dramatic scene aside, I love that the whole time we could see the nice flashing power-ups to pick up. So we got a map of the lair. You are here. We get a health drink. We get a first aid kit. And we get the ceremonial dagger again. Which means... Yeah. They took all our stuff. But we do have a save point here, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick refreshing pause. Yeah, things got out of hand pretty quickly there. So with that, back in a moment.
All right, so yeah, plot just kind of exploded all over the place there. Apparently every 50 years, the four founding families of Shepherd's Glen have to sacrifice one of their children, and this time something went wrong with the Shepherd family sacrifice. Not only that, but apparently Alex has never been in the army. Apparently we've just been in a mental hospital ever since some sort of an accident. We don't quite have all the pieces of the puzzle just yet, but we're getting there. So, time to explore the Order's lair. We'll go ahead and equip the dagger, since that's the only weapon we actually have right now. So as far as things like failed quick time events, I have to come back through these areas later anyway to get the other endings, so I'll just record them then. So we have a locked door here, but we don't have the key just yet. We'll have to come back for that. Nothing in here. And we have one of these kinds of gates, but we don't have somewhere to go over to the other side to turn that wheel, so we can't really do anything with it just yet. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. So, this room closed itself off pretty quickly. Nothing. And hi there. Come out here, I'm not fighting you in a doorway. It does feel a bit underwhelming that after all the monsters of Silent Hill, you just end up fighting a bunch of these guys toward the end. I mean, it's their lair, so it does make sense. But it is a little bit disappointing. So checking out the victim here, we get the steel pipe. Slowly but surely we are reclaiming our weapons, at least the most basic ones. Hi there. All right. We get some shotgun ammo. Nothing back here, really, though. Through the Fog, A Skeptic in Silent Hill by Paul Scheibel. Silent Hill, a town known for its mysterious happenings and now defunct cult, The Order, which was recently exposed by the detective Douglas Cartland. Hey, we know that name. How's Heather doing? But what darkness really lies behind the simple veneer of this sleepy town? Paul Scheibel's latest book chronicles his research during a two-year stay in the town, including detailed interviews with longtime residents, cult documents you won't find anywhere else, and an appendix of popular local legends. As expected, life in Silent Hill is far more mundane than you may have heard, and the great evil the Order sought to find originated from the same abyss whence all religions spring, nowhere darker than the fanatical minds of its followers. So we get the Mark 23 handgun again. And a Sector 3 key. This key could get me into the next wing. There's a note on the wall here. This paper lists more people they've brought here to torture. By decree of the ordained council, the following have been chosen to serve the will of our divine lord. James L., Tony E., Justin H., Ryan N., Anna L., Matt N., Jeremy E., Sarah R., Jeffrey E., Roger J. Do not make any mistakes. Remember the penalty for not following the word. All repent, for our kingdom is near. A.S. I have to wonder if those names were like people that contributed to the game special thanks sort of thing or something. A waste of time. It's locked. These tanks are filled with blood. It's unbelievable. It's also just plain weird. It's like one of those horror things that's trying a little too hard. Ooh, we have a tank full of blood. We're scary! And over here we have a child's drawing. Full disclosure time, that was the last of the child's drawings, and I should have gotten an achievement for that. This is a re-record thanks to technical difficulties. 
So, yeah, let's just all pretend that we heard that achievement pop. There we go. Wanna put that on still store, Cambot? Nursery rhymes, 50G, yeah! Right, there we go. Okay. So with that, we can read the entire nursery rhyme. Where is Stephen, Mommy? He can't play and I'm sad. You mustn't ask, my darling. Stephen has been bad. Billy, too? And Sally? Did they do something wrong? I'm afraid it's true, child. All your friends are gone. Beware of he who took them. He goes by many names. The bogeyman, the shattered one. All are he, the same. For every sin a child has must be a punishment to bear. Your friends are now beyond our reach, trapped deep within his lair. Remember to always behave, for sins he won't abide. He wields a rusty, jagged blade to cut out your insides. The lying little children, with souls selfish and small, will find their wriggling tongues cut out and nailed to his wall. And if they take what is not theirs, there can be no doubt. He'll stretch their skin until it snaps and all the blood drains out. The bullies in their spiteful wrath will find torment as well. Soon he'll strike them where they stand and drag them into hell. Child, you must obey your parents, do everything they say. Little ones who do otherwise he tortures in the flames. Beatings cleanse the soul, they say, and that is what he'll do. If you don't control your anger, then you'll feel his anger too. You are your brother's keeper, remember it always, or else the bogeyman will claim you underneath the waves. And while good children live, bad ones cannot escape their fate, for once you hear his screeching wail, it's already too late. So do not cry aloud at night, stay hidden in your bed, or the bogeyman from Silent Hill will come chop off your head. Ah, truly a masterpiece. So with that, we're pretty much done with this path, and we need to head back. We have the key now for that locked door, after all.